So hello guys, this is Mana Gupta here back with another video and this time we are with a new room for you guys. And this time we have this room known as the epic room. So we have been using this room since a few days right now and the performance was not that bad. So we think this room deserves a review. <laughs> So let's quickly go to the about phone option and you and here you can see the ROM is epic ROM here and the device we are running is Redmi Note 3. So the version of Android version is 6.0.1. Security patch is November patch. The MIUI version is MIUI 8 by Epic Team. So this is a modification done to the official builds that are released from MIUI and are modified a bit so let's quickly go to the features that this room has and it's quite a good room a better alternative to official MIUI updates I would say so the performance of the room is close to the stock MIUI performance and we have been using those stock builds and we didn't face any issue moving from stock builds to these builds the performance was almost the same there were no lags whatsoever, the gaming performance was the same, the camera quality is also good. There are a few features that are added like the 4K camera recording feature which is inbuilt in this ROM now. So there are a lot of options and you can tweak this ROM according to your needs. Everything is close to the stock performance in there. So there are no major changes in this custom ROM. The battery backup the performance, the camera performance, the gaming performance, everything is close to stock Android. Now the first thing where it differs is the Epic Extras. We have Dolby Atoms which is inbuilt in this custom room. We have Addaway which is already inbuilt and OT8 and modes we can choose icon packs and there is various settings here you can check these out. Like you can donate to the creator, disable ROM auto checks, check ROM every hour, light theme, etc. etc. Now the other difference that we can notice in this custom ROM is the advanced reboot option is inbuilt. Further if you have noticed, the clock is in the center and various other tweaks are present in this custom ROM. For those who didn't notice, here you can see the battery backup indication. It's written as 24 HP. I don't know why it is written as HP. Maybe it's a translation issue due to this ROM is not a global ROM. I would say it's developed by Spanish developers. So the download links will be put up in the description below. Now, now quickly coming to how to get this ROM and how to modify it. The best thing about this ROM is you can customize it according to your needs. You just have all the authority, whatever you need and you can customize it in the recovery mode only. They have provided us with those aroma flashes and you can customize it accordingly. So let's see how it works. Now you just have to go to install section. You have to select the ROM that you have to flash. Like in my case, we have this epic ROM. Now you have to confirm to flash. Now here you will see your aroma flash coming up. Similar to those we that we get in custom recoveries. So here you can select the language. English. Next. So the version of the ROM is 6.12.15 The model is Redmi Note 3 Pro Author Epic ROM Date 16 December build So these are some terms and conditions You can waste your time on this If you have enough Now you can see the changes instructions device information Or directly conti continue to the installer in the device information you will get all the device informations like Redmi Note 3 
board type, manufacturer density, LCD density, etc. In the changes, you will get a quick change lock like 4K recording, advanced reboot, MIUS 7 music widget, MIUS 7 music widget, updated Super SU, Gaps Pico, and other features like OTA. So let's quickly go back. You can check the instructions. Now let's quickly go to the installer. Now you can see there is a little bug here. Sai, which may be a translation to yes, I don't know. So this is a transi translation error. So you can see you have the option to choose if you want the ROM to be rooted or not. Yes. Next, do you want kernel tweaks? I will stay with balance mode. You can select according to your needs. Exposed, let it be yes. Now you can select the LCD density. I would prefer 440. And do you need the advanced reboot options? Yes. Do you need the center clock mode? It would be a yes. Now here you can see which MIUI apps you don't need and which apps should be replaced by the Google Apps. Now I don't need the MIUI browser, I don't need the MIUI gallery, MIUI launcher never, Gmail and Google Dialer, leave it. So you have an option of Android Auto, you can use that also, I don't use it so let it be. Now click on next and you have to just click on install now. Once it is done you are ready to go with the room and enjoy this epic room from the epic team. So we have to go to next and finish the installation. So do you directly want to reboot? I would say no. Always prefer to flash this lazy flasher, it can save your internal data. I always prefer installing this whenever I install any MIUI base ROM. Now you can quickly go to the reboot system option and enjoy the ROM. So that's all from this video guys, we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. We will see you in the next one.